Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to reprogram the ESC on a DHK Maximus. All right, so this ESC is a waterproof 120 amp, um, I, I think it's Hobby Wing. Yeah, it's a Hobby Wing ESC 120 amp waterproof. And I'm gonna show you guys how to reprogram it. All right, so I have the uh, user manual here with me. And these are the uh, factory settings. So running mode, you have um, column two, which is forward, re reverse, with brake. And then category two is a uh, drag brake force, which is at 0%, that's what everybody wants. And then column three is your low voltage cutoff. And factory setting is at three volts, which I think is really low. Um, that could damage the battery if, you know, I'm not too sure, but that's kind of low. And then category four is your start mode, punching power. And factory setting is at level five, which is one to nine, eh, a little bit over half. Pretty cool. And then uh, maximum brake force, 50%, which is good for me. And what I wanna do today is change category three, low voltage cutoff, and category four, punching power. I, I want the punching power to be at column eight, and I want the low voltage cutoff to be at column five. And I'm gonna show you guys how to program it right now. So what do you wanna do first? You wanna put in your battery, and then you wanna turn on the uh, transmitter, all right? And now if you look at over here, the switch, this is your on and off switch. And this button right here is your programming button. So what you want to do first is hold this button and then turn the switch on and then you keep it held. This thing will start flashing a bunch of red lights and then it'll flash a green light once indicating that you're going to be in category one. And then when it flashes the green light twice, you're in category two. And then when it flashes the green light three times, you're in three and four and so on. All right. So I'm gonna start by doing that. And also, when you're programming your columns, it's gonna make beeping noise. So one beep is column one, two beep is column two, three beep is column three. But when you get to five, it's one long beep. And then when you get to six, it's one long beep plus one short beep. And then seven is one long beep plus two short beep. So it's basically five plus one, five plus two to make seven, five plus three to make column eight. But five will always be one long beep, all right? It says it right here too, if you guys are curious, you can see the user manual and it'll tell you that number five is one long beep, following by number six is one long beep plus one short beep and, and so on. But I'm gonna show you guys that so you could actually see and hear the beeping noise. So I'm starting with the, the battery connected, transmitter is on. Um, holding down the program button and then flip the switch to turn on the ESC and then I'll start blinking red. All right, that's column one, I mean category one. Category two. Category three and then I let go because that's what I want, category three. And then you want to hear for the beeping sound. Three beeps, that's uh, column three. I push the, the button again, it goes to column four. With four beeps. And if I push the button again, I'll make one long beep. There you go, indicating that it's in column five now. And then once I'm done, I just turn off the ESC. So now I've just reset it, category three, to column five, 3.2 volt for my low voltage cutoff, all right? So the next thing what I wanna do is my uh, punching power. I want this to be all the way to column eight. So I'm gonna be listening for well, well, first I'm gonna hold the button until it, the green light blink four times, indicating that I'm in category four. 
And then after that, I want to listen for the beep. I want to hear one long beep following three short beep. That will indicate that I'm in column eight, level eight of my punching power. So let's do that. I want to start off by holding the button, flip the switch on. Now you wait for your category. That's one. It's category two. It's category three. And that's category four. And that's what I want. Category four, my punching power. Now I'm listening for the beep to see which column I'm in. Beep, 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 beep. So that's eight. I'm in column eight already. So once I'm done, turn the ESC off. And now you just reprogram column, I mean, I'm category four, your punching power, into column eight, which what I did for, you know, my own personal preference and yeah. But yeah, that's that's basically how you uh, program and reprogram the Hobby Wing ESC. It's really easy. Uh, it's really simple. At first, when I I was reading the user manual, it, it was kind of conf confusing. But when I actually did it, it started to make sense. So uh, yeah, that's how you uh, reprogram the ESC without any external device. I mean, you can, you know, stick it into a device and reprogram it from there. But if you don't have a device and you want to do it manually with the ESC itself and the, you know, the switches, you could actually do that. So, yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how you uh, reprogram the ESC on a Hobby Wing ESC. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe.